Hello everyone, welcome to November. Uh, November is an exciting month. And I don't have anything to say on that, so apparently not an exciting month. Are um, you growing a moustache? I am growing a moustache. I've got a moustache, I need to shave it off and regrow it. I haven't decided what kind of moustache I'm doing yet. Uh, kind of depends how, uh, how, how the mood takes me. Right, so I've got two major things to go through here in this video. One of them, uh, the first one, and this is such a simple one. This is the preview of custom blocks. And I, I'd like, before I show you this, I would like to apologize for never having done this before. It took me a few hours. Basically, and it's this simple, it now shows you where a custom block will be before you place it. So doing what I just did would have took me about five minutes in the current game. And I apologize, and it's awesome. Uh, that looks way better. It's yeah, that was just yeah. It is. I, I've been I've got a retarded block there. Um, so somebody was also somebody was asking about doing a companion cube earlier, and, and they showed me it, and I was like, I didn't say that was a bit rubbish, but I kind of thought it. Um, with this system, you can so you can rotate, you can push blocks in a rotation. So that as you can see that I built that um, kind of by doing this. Uh, which was that one? Is that one there? So as you can see, it's now much, much, much easier for you to build stuff. Um, well, it's so not much easier for you to build stuff because you're still rubbish at I'm it. I'm still rubbish, yeah. So you can see that. You can use, so if you want to do a companion cube, and I, I would love someone to do a companion cube, you can do it like this and then uh, build it that way. Um, I know it only seems like a minor feature, and if I describe it, it seems minor, but it, it, it's going to make such a difference. So the other one which is most definitely not a minor feature, is the copy and paste feature. So, as you've probably seen from the world, here's a bunch I made earlier. So let us uh, mark off this block here. So, uh, if you mark once with the left trigger and then once with the right trigger, you can see there's two sparkly corners to the map. So you've got the bottom left and the bottom right are both sparkling. And as soon as you've done that, you get a preview of where it will be in the world. So you can see that I've got my, my block there. Or I can, uh, you know, just grab a random bit of scenery. You can see the, the distortion and the block there, giving you mm -hmm. sort of a slight, slightly glass outline of where you you are copy and pasting. Um, and then you place it down with the X, uh, and it's that simple. Um, again, you sort of write it down, and it, it, it just it, it looks really simple. Uh, that's the wrong button. That's a good start. That's once you press the trigger rather than X. Uh, So, um, so you define two corners of a cuboid, and that is your copy yeah. reticle. Yeah, so then you just place it down, multiple copies like that. Um, so, in, in, in glorious Blue Peter tradition, here is one I made earlier. So this extends about halfway across the map. As you can see, it's just one little section repeated over and over and over again. And I will uh, I'll show you that one. In fact, no, the best thing is that because it's quite cool, the cuboid, you can just sort of grab at any point. So you can see I've just sort of grabbed one repetition. It's fairly easy to see whether or not you've messed it up. Uh, and then uh, you can just start building your bridge or your, or whatever. Um, now, the cool thing is, because the way the copy and paste works... Um, ooh, Oh, I think I've just <laughs> I think I just died. I think I've been te I was testing the RPG code and I think I actually just died then, so it took me back to the center. Um, so there's no currently there are there are some limits, but they're pretty generous. So I can copy and paste the entire bridge in one go. Even more so if I actually click in the right place, that'll do. Um, so you can see I'm copy and paste huge chunks of bridge in or, or whatever in one go. Um, no, there isn't no, we're about when we started recording, weren't we? And um, and I was saying people are going to absolutely love this. And um, people who have spent hours of manually replicating things over and over are going to be a little bit annoyed. But then that's that's what happens when new features are always coming along. Yeah, sorry, but I, I did think that because uh, again, the same with the custom blocks. If you just spent ages detailing your world with loads of custom blocks uh, and, and you spent ages doing it and now it's easy, I apologise. That's the nature of me trying to improve stuff and make it e make it easier, make it better. Um, I did kind of realise today I'm probably not writing a game so much as I'm writing a glorified 3D art package. Um, 
pretty much that's the that's the been the main two features that I've uh, been working on. They're both pretty much complete. Uh, I think I'm just about ready to consider tidying up some stuff and releasing this as a patch. Uh, that's the main things I wanted to get done done. Uh, the other thing we discussed a, a moment ago before recording was is the one thing you can't do when you paste. Um, explain to people. Yeah, so right now... you're going to ask. Yeah, so currently I'm going to release this as a feature because um, this is it, it works. It does what it says on the tin. Um, however, what you can't do... So if you can see I've made a corner of a thing here. There's no way for me to rotate it or spin it. Um, I might add that in the future. So you can see here we built this one out of uh, that. So I might add the ability to rotate it and flip it in the future. But if nothing else... I don't really have any buttons left on the um, on the joypad to go doing this. I'm kind of using them all up. So no particular uh, idea how I would even do that, even if um, I, I was planning to. Well, I imagine you'd hold a button and then that would change the function of the D-pad or something. Yeah, the problem with that, the D-pad's no good. The D-pad's only two dimensions. I need to be able to rotate things in, in six axes, so three dimensions. So... It's well, yeah, you, you do, but, but because um, things rotate in 90 degree in increments, um, you don't necessarily have to be able to rotate left and right. You could have D-pad left for rotating on the X-axis, D-pad right for rotating on the Y-axis or whatever. Because you've yeah. only got four, four presses and you've done 360 anyway. Yeah, I, was, I, 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 sir, I, I think I probably would end up doing it, but I don't want to delay this patch for me to mess about with for a week with matrices. I think uh, the patch now well, has... But also, yeah, because it's not like a buttons that's that's stopping you doing it, to be clear, is it? It's the fact that it needs some hardcore maths. It does. Um, the, the, so a lot of, to be honest, I will be, I said, a lot of it is down to interface. The the whole copy and paste interface is quite slick right now, but it, this is like the fifth iteration. It's not as straightforward as you might think. I mean, as I said, just to reiterate, you, uh, you put down one corner, you put down the other corner, and then X to build. Um, do be careful. You can use this in your workshop, but I'll be very careful with what you do in your workshop with this. Um, other restrictions, it does not work with custom blocks. Um, uh, I will I will demonstrate how it doesn't work with custom blocks. So you can see there, I've just grabbed a bit of scenery and failed to grab the custom blocks. Let's try again. And if I place them, it may or may not place the custom blocks, if you're lucky. Yeah, see, it, 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 it's kind of messed them up. Um, well, so, that's going to change, right? It's that. actually really hard, because the way I'm doing it is I'm using the custom corking renderer to grab the um, to grab the world. But custom blocks don't really exist in the world in that sense. Right. Um, yeah. Even with what I'm doing, this is this is quite a chunk of RAM. So what I'm doing is I'm using the camouflage cork renderer to to store the copy and paste for free. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can see that that's what happens. They it loses the rotation of them, so it copies them, but it's lost their rotation. Um, so a custom box is almost like an effect, aren't they? They're they're. What, what it is, custom blocks are an index like everything else. So, you know, the index says it's grass, it's C, it's whatever. Mm. But the custom blocks, we use the lighting, fl uh, the, the visibility flags that encode right. the uh, rotation into it. Um, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So the, the, what seemed like a good bit of um, overloading earlier on, now you wish you hadn't done, maybe? No, I had, the thing is with that, if, if we hadn't done the overloading, we wouldn't have had the feature. Um, a lot of these things... We've had to uh, do this because that's the only way we'd possibly fit on the Xbox. So we had to reuse the visibility yeah. bike flags to get the rotations in. Yeah, no, yeah, okay. We had to. Uh, again, someone asked earlier, what's the limit on the copy and paste? You are limited to 4,096 um, uh, cubes in one go, which is loads. Loads and loads and loads and loads. And loads. Uh, and um, you're not just pasting into air as well, you're pasting into other blocks and it's just replacing them, right? Uh, yes, yes, it'll overwrite whatsoever, whatever's there if you paste inside something. Because a moment ago you were just sort of um, pasting away with that little 3x3 uh, three three section or whatever and, and making a big sort of mass of... Yeah. Which, which I haven't seen you do before and people have fun with that, just sort of making a hillside out of steel or something yeah that has a kind of organic feel to it but equally it would be great for making really regular structures like you make 
one tier of a tower block and then make it 12 stories high yeah very yeah. easily yeah and then hopefully you can then the, the difference is that would take you three or four hours before but now it should take you three or four minutes and then you can go back and and spend your time on the detail so you see here i mean that that would have taken forever in the current build i mean apps well, mm. not absolutely forever but it would take a very long time but let, let, let's let's push it let's do it on camera why not let's see if i can grab that whole section uh, Yep, there you go. So I've just grabbed the entire wall. So this means that people should be able to block out their world. Now, this is no good for detail work. You, know, so you, you are still going to have to put the time and the effort in to uh, make your worlds great. But this should take, hopefully, some of the very boring stuff out of doing it. Uh, I'm not sure why you want to build a wall that looked like this. But there you go. And, uh, you can literally see how quickly that was. So that's uh, very, very fast. So that, yeah, that should be good. Maybe if you wanted to sort of um, divide the citizens of your country between the west and the east. With a massive multicolored wall made of gold bricks. Yeah. I'm not sure that was going to last very long. Maybe the Berlin Wall was only around for ages because nobody wanted to nick it. No, I think it was the guns. Ah, uh, okay. Let me forget about yeah. the guns. Yeah, you can see it here earlier. I was playing the copy and paste because you can make a more irregular sort of shape and then sort of pile on random bits. That's quite impressive. Yeah. Wall. I'm quite impressed at that uh, thing there. Yes. So yeah, I hope people really, really, you know, use this uh, whole custom block thing. I hope people use the the custom lighting that we've got going here a bit more as well. And uh, yeah, should be good. Very good. Well, you know, it's, it's still just like um, Minecraft with an HD te texture pack. Really. And, and about 98 mods put into it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 90, honest, 98 but, mods, that's, that's more than one, one at a time. Uh, yeah, oh, you can't really do that, can you? I forgot. I have to say that the Minecraft trolls uh, are, are disappearing now. Uh, it, it's quite, there's, you get the occasional dying gasp of, <laughs> oh, it's a ripoff. One guy was like, oh, it's a ripoff. You, you know, and I'm like, well, what do you mean? He goes, oh, you've just copied everything. I was like, what? Like the lasers? What lasers? I was like, right, what about the physics blocks, the conveyor belts, the factories, the lasers, the wings, the rewards, the, say the copy and paste, the, the mob. He's like, oh, oh, I didn't know it had any of it. I just watched one video like six months ago. Mm, so it's the death throes of the hating now. <laughs> yes, so uh, we'll see. I'm sure it'll all come back uh, around spring next year. Um, though I'm kind of hoping by the time spring comes around, actually, uh, it's the other way around that uh, Minecraft is getting told that it's got, uh, it's not as good. We'll see. I, I can always hope. That would be wonderful. But uh, for now, I'm going to carry on with the uh, crazy new features that I've got planned. The main other thing I've got for this patch is customization. Optimization. Um, there's a few little odds and sods, but really, I've got to tidy up the copy and paste, finish off the custom lighting, and get that out in a patch so people actually get to uh, play with these new features rather than having to watch me play around on my uh, crappy world. Seeing how much there is in... Craft chapter one now um it, it's kind of staggering that people bought it and liked it so much when it first came out well yeah i say uh, dave foils the um the guy who did uh he does the indie summer uprising he was uh he, he said he downloaded it the other day and he was said it was amazed how much it changed and i was and that kind of made me sad because it made me happy that you know he, he's uh he's a very cynical bloke he does a lot of the uh uh indie game stuff so he's seen a lot and he was very surprised that i was still updating it uh, and uh, what made me sad there was the fact he didn't know I was still updating it. And I was like, well, yeah. so it, it, if, again, if you know someone who downloaded Fortress Craft six months ago and they didn't like it, uh, point out that I'm still doing it. Everybody knows that Minecraft is patched to buggery back again. I think a lot of people just think, as, as, as I have been accused of, that think that I just made Fortress Craft make a quick buck and now I'm off ripping something else off. And so this you haven't is... made any buck yet, have you? Well, no, no. I, I hopefully get paid within the next couple of weeks. Um, it's on the 31st of November. If I haven't been paid, that's the day I get to go and uh, have a go at Microsoft. I see. But yeah, so, so if everyone who's accusing me of just wanted to make a quick buck, it's been over six months since Fortress Craft came out. I still work on it every single day. We're still getting features. Uh, I don't. I don't mean ridiculous little features. And I will. I will raise this one again. Like, for instance, adding in a bunch of coloured blocks that you've got to go and farm sheep with shears. And oh, I don't know. You know, we're talking about major, major, major features here that we're adding. Uh, and I know, so I've got plenty more that I want to do. It's um, not just snouts on pigs. Yes, and they're not square snouts either. 
uh, someone said, uh, someone described Fortress Craft as Fortress Craft. It's taking the blocky out of blocky games. Which I rather liked. But yeah, so instead of, uh, here we go, so I, there you go, instead of filling in the tower all the way there, I should just be able to somehow like, mess this up, which I probably will. Easy peasy. Uh, so I'd like to call this uh, recursion mode. <laughs> well, I so say for everyone who's got a Colosseum out there, or who've spent hours and hours and hours in pillars, I'd say I'm you'll, really... You'll still have to do it the old way, because um, it involves us rotating. Well, no, with pillars it's okay, because they're obviously their rounds. Yeah. So, again, with a little bit of forethought, you could probably um, build your work. But again, even though so I've built that tower, it, it's not too hard for me to plonk that down and then to quickly uh, edit out that one. Uh, that one that goes there. You've got that one there. I'm so glad you're a programmer and not an architect. <laughs> oh, that one goes there, this one goes here. <laughs> That's how they do it. One of the Fortress Craft testers is actually, uh, he did bridge uh, software. So uh, I'm sure that's what he does. If you're listening, Nick, I'm sure that's exactly what you do. That This bit goes here, that bit goes there. Run the simulation, does the bridge collapse? It's just like Bridge Builder, I'm sure. So again, I've got, although there's no rotate because of the way everything is, it really is quick, as you can see. I, I, so I'm not even good at this game. Um, I am also playing this on the pad, but you see, it's quite easy, though you don't have rotation to actually, I can't say fake it, but um, to actually just sort of rebuild the, the block with rotation. If you want to build a house, again, you can build a house, then build the other house rotated, and you can then build a whole village. And I realise it's not as quick as if you could copy and paste, but it is still about 10,000 times quicker than, than what we had before. And up to 4,096 times um, quicker. Yeah, well, not even more than that, because of course that doesn't take into account the time it takes to switch the blocks to find the one you want. Um, so, you know, your house might have taken you quite some time. But once you've made a house, grab the house, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, you've got an entire village. Um, and then you copy the village. And then you got there. Absolutely. Well, so uh, speaking of copy village, this is one other thing I haven't pointed out, and I meant to point it out in, in Paul's video. So, for those of you who are very familiar with how Fortress Craft looks, uh, you will notice that it looks different, and it looks very different. So this is island mode with the new landscape rendering, uh, the new landscape generation, which you can see it's a bit more a bit more like a real landscape. Rolling hills, caged or cliffs. Um, so, uh, again, this is Nick, the, the bridge guy. He, uh, he pointed out that our um, octaves weren't octaves. Octaves are supposed to uh, inf influence the system half as much. So I actually, each octave was inf influencing it the same amount. So uh, yeah, that's why you got those crazy Less variation. No, you no. What it is, you just end up with crazy alien-looking landscapes. Um, oh, my computer's playing silly buggers there. There we go. Oh right, because it was like there were less subtle variations. Um, yeah, there's no such thing as a subtle variation. Every variation was exactly the same size. Uh, and right. So how that, did you not spot that? Uh, because when you're doing with Perlin generation, it's it is what it is. You can't say that's well, wrong. Nothing is wrong. Well, if you've wrong. not done it before, you wouldn't necessarily recognise it. Not even that. Nothing is wrong. It, it could. It, it is equally possible for it to generate this landscape as a landscape of breasts or, or squares. It could be anything. Oh, that that's, sounds awesome. It would be awesome, but it's, it's never done that, sadly. Um, the idea is I'm going to add in another toggle, so you'll be able to choose the, the classic... Uh, as I say, Fortress Craft Landscape, um, or you'll be able to choose the um, Realistic Landscape, which is, I say this one, I use the term fairly loosely, um, or there'll be a, possibly Alien is what I'm going to call it, so then I'll crank it in the other direction, so it just gets, it'll get really weird landscape to do that. Um, I'd also like to start putting in Everything's code. made out of jelly. Well, I'd like to put in code CC, we've got these flat cliffs there, I'd like to actually detect that's a cliff and actually make it into a cliff rather than somehow made of dirt. In what way? If, do, by doing what to it? Well... Chalk? Uh, well, no, because I'd, like I'd like it to look like... Uh, not exactly like this, but you can sort of get... Yeah. I'm not doing it in my hand, that'll take forever. But, yeah, you know, it could, it could... Actually, hold on, wait, wait, so what should we do now is... This copy and paste feature is going to be so wicked, look at that. That would have taken ages, even with the builders. Put some layers in the uh, in the rock. 
some strata. <laughs> one by one meter strata. But yeah, I'd like to say I'd like to start doing a bit more, uh, a bit more work on the landscape, so there's actually a better landscape. Um, I do realise I'm kind of working on two fronts at once, so there has been the creative mode and, and the realistic uh, stuff, and then there's also been the the creative mode stuff. So I'll carry on, I'll carry on with that. So it's, uh, I'll split my time between the RPG mode and um, the creative mode. Again, if any features. Oh, by the way, um, I know a lot of people have said, "Hey, I came up with the idea and copy of, of copy and paste." No, you didn't. You can't. You cannot get claim uh, you had a good idea when it was a really obvious idea. We only give out the rewards for ideas that weren't obvious. They don't have to be complicated. They don't have to be uh, original, but ones that I wasn't going to blatantly put in every you know from day one. So if someone says lava or moving water, I will put it in. You, you don't get the axe for that one. You have to do something uh, something I wasn't going to do. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's uh, yeah, copy and paste. Um, and the other thing. Uh, the lighting's copy. looking a lot healthier these days. Yes. Well, it's, it's especially said the... Uh, I, I was watching the uh, tournament and it was sad that none of those guys have got the, the custom, the coloured lighting because it just makes such a difference to how the game looks. The atmosphere, yeah. Well, you know, the future is bright and red. Uh, yeah, the future's not, I think I took orange out. Orange is now the uh, thunderclap one. So, yeah, the future's not orange. The future's a sort of a thunderclappy thing. Cool. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, hopefully next week, um, I shall... It'll be a brief one, and I'll say, hey, I've tidied everything up, and it's going into peer review. Hopefully next week as well, I'll give, be able to give people an update on the on live situation with the uh, steam heroes um if you've not seen everybody hates pixel art then go wow that was a good video from arcus and izzard i'm going to google uh, youtube search everybody hates pixel art um worth watching kind of funny um and i i like seeing stuff like that done in fortress craft um yeah. I would just like to give a quick shout out to Overweight, although this probably would be better at the start of the video. Um, he does an excellent job of summarising our long, rambling vlogs, doesn't he? It's only because you talk so slowly. If you talked a bit quicker, it's <laughs> But, but yeah. Uh, yeah, check out his channel. He, he does a good job. He does a good job of summing up, which is something I'm appalling at doing. There we go. One day, one day that will collapse. You see, you see. Uh, but yeah, I look forward to seeing the worlds. Um, follow the tournament if you've not been. Uh, Morning articles uh, tournament is quite frankly amazing. Um, well, the worlds in it are amazing. The tournament itself is a tournament. The actual stuff, the, the worlds are quite frankly amazing and well worth looking. As, as I said, check out Overweight's channel. He's very very good at uh, summing all of this stuff up into concise things for people with with busy hectic lifestyles. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's anything we could say now, is there, Si? You're going to put a, a link to his channel in the description of this video, aren't you? I will. I'll see if I can work out how to do that. I'm not very good at YouTube. I need kind of a, a YouTube person to do that and annotations and all of this stuff. Oh, by the way, I uh, uh, just one thing. I kind of hope that you guys end up making much more creative, much more awesome worlds. And I don't just end up joining lots of worlds with stuff copy and pasted all over like I'm doing. This is just to show you, you can copy whacking great structures around with no, uh, no particular lag or, or slowdown issues. Uh, yeah. Other than that, is there anything you want to finish off with, Si? Well, now, let me see. A man came up to me and said, sorry, 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 sorry. And I said, that's very annoying. He said, well, I can only apologise. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, for listening. Rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.